So now we're looking at the outcome of revival. And as we look at the outcome of revival, we're looking at it, uh, uh, you know, of the things that took place after the time of Pentecost. And of course, many were saved on the day of Pentecost and God continued to add to their number every single day, those who were being saved. And so as they were brought into the church, the Bible tells us in Acts chapter two and verse 42, uh, the Bible says right here, and they were continually devoting themselves. So what is the outcome of revival? The people are devoted. The people of God are devoted. They get devoted to God. They get devoted to the things of God. What were they devoted to here? Uh, they continually devoted. Uh, they were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching, which is the word of God. They uh, to fellowship, to devoted to one another. So devoted to the word of God, devoted to one another, and to the breaking of bread. And so you know, as we look at this, they they were devoted. And so what we need so desperately in our church churches today, what we need in Christian life in general today is devoted people. We need devoted Christians. And, you know, I, I consider atheism to be a religion in the world today. And I want to tell you something, and it's shame on us, but the atheists of the world today are much more religious than we are. Now, we don't need to be religious. We need, we're in a relationship with Jesus Christ, but we need to be devoted to to Jesus Christ, and we need to be devoted to his word. We need to be devoted to one another, devoted to service. And when revival comes, true revival, genuine revival, we get devoted. We get serious about the task at hand. We get serious about God, serious about one another, serious about uh, you know our Christian growth. We get devoted. And so my prayer today and I want you to join with me in this prayer, is that we would be devoted, that I would be devoted, that you would be devoted. Would you join with me in that? That we would be devoted to God, to one another, the Christian service.